Hello world, we are in Italy and for the last seven days we had this, the 2019 Opel Mocha X. As usual, I will start with the front part of the car. Nice tail lights here and LED daytime running lights. The other lights are classic halogen, but I would, I would say that I was surprised to see the coverage that you get on the street. Pretty, pretty good coverage from these lights even if they are not LED or Xenon. Small front air grill here, completely plastic and some plastic chrome. Fog lights on both sides of the car, parking sensors and a lot, a lot of plastic. Medium quality plastic, I would mention. Not the one that you get in Audi, but uh, it's decent. The bonnet, small and aggressive. 1.6 CDTI Aero 6 diesel engine, 110 horsepower and 300 Newton meters of torque. I would say it's a quite economic engine but not extraordinary for example for the last 1500 kilometers the fuel average consumption was around 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers and i find it also a little bit not elastic but let's say this is understandable because we have a small diesel engine the windscreen is big you have good visibility from the inside let's move now on the right side of the car from the sides, the car looks quite big, I would say. I mean, I would categorize it as a small SUV or a bigger hatchback. The dimensions, 4.2 meters long, 1.8 meters in width and 1.65 meter high. Fuel tank, we have a 52 liters capacity. The space that you get, I mean, the access is decent. Ground clearance, 17.5 centimeters. Front wheel drive, not four wheel drive but you, there are also versions you can get in four-wheel drive. The wheels, 17-inch alloy wheels from Opel. On the roof, we have two bars and they have like, uh, they are integrated in a plastic cover, which is attached to the car's roof. The mass of the car is 1.4 tons. I mean, considering that we have a diesel engine, which is heavier in comparison with a petrol engine, but even so, I would say the 1.6 CDTI engine can handle the, the, the mass of the car. Let's move now at the back side of the car. Pretty classic, I would say. Two big tail lights, classic tail lights, no LED. An inscription here, Mocha X. We have also back parking sensors. The trunk, 365 liters of capacity. To be honest, I would have expected four more. Okay, now that we have an overview how the car looks from the exterior, let's get inside to have a look also there. I mean, from the inside, you have a lot of space. Sitting position is very comfortable. I mean, it's nice being in the car. Otherwise, we have a lot of plastic, some shining plastic. Actually, this car comes with a lot of features. We have cruise control, we have drive assist systems like hill assist. Yeah, I will also mention the multimedia um, display system is a eight inch touch capability, which comes with uh, Android Auto or Apple car really smoothly, I would say. Some buttons here. Here is the climate control settings with the parking sensors and start stop system. ESP button and the uh, emergency lights button. Here you have also a place to put your phone to be charged and some yeah, USB and uh, charging slots, 12 volts charging slots. Yeah, a lot of places to deposit things. Not so big, I would say, but yeah, quite decent. The steering wheel. The steering wheel is actually big, bigger than I would have expected with commands on both sides cruise control and some voice commands and volume on the right side. What I would, was interesting for me to mention, maybe I can grab this. We have, I mean, you can control the dashboard options, but how can you control it? We have two buttons here, menu, so you can control from here. And if you want to go up or down, you have like a switch here. Uh, this is this I found it a little bit interesting because I didn't found it on other car vendors, I would say. The lights control here. Let's get now in the back to have a look there. In the back, again, a lot of space, decent space, almost three fingers of space here, almost four finger of space here. I am 185, the driving seat is configured for me. 12 volt socket here. Yeah, here. We have an armrest, I think you can see it. This will uh, definitely, it's attached to the driving seat, driver seat, but this is definitely helpful. We drove a lot on the motorway and this was 
helpful for me. Okay, now that we have an overview how the car looks from exterior and also interior, let me get driving it and let me share with you my opinions. Mocha X, the crossover car from Opel. While the first generation called simply Mocha was produced from 2013, the new facelift was firstly shown to the world in 2017. There are not so noticeable changes from outside, while the inside comes with quite a few improvements. With more than 800,000 units sold in Europe, it seems for me that the car was actually a deal for the audience. Assembled in Spain at Zaragoza, the Mocha X comes with the new updated engines, manual or automatic gearbox and either a front-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive. The version that we had on our trip was a 1.6 CDTI diesel engine with a six-speed manual gearbox, cruise control, driving assist systems, heated seats and multimedia touchscreen with an estimated cost of 25,500 euros. Next, as you already know, I would like to make an analysis based on four aspects. Price versus what you get and what some other options are. Who should buy this car? What is its audience? Good things versus bad things. And last but not least, how was my experience driving it? What are the conclusions? More than 1,500 kilometers drove in our vacation in Sardinia, Italy. The car is comfortable, it behaves like a good crossover and the space you get inside can definitely be suitable for five people. The trunk capacity is less than what my expectation was. With two medium big size trolleys, you can easily be out of space. The inside of the car looks nice. They really improve it in comparison with the first generation, even if you still get a lot of low to medium quality plastic. The car weighs 1.4 tons, but the engine provides good feedback. You get cruise control, you get air conditioning, heated seats, front and back parking sensors. The IntelliLink infotainment interface works flawlessly, having the possibility to connect an Android or Apple device. Competitors? 23,000 euros Citroen C3 Aircross. 24,000 euros Mazda CX-3. 24,500 euros Honda HR-V. 26,500 euros Toyota CHR. 26,000 euros Seat Arona. Citroen C3 Air crossed on the stage from 2017 as a replacement for Citroen C3 Picasso, almost 130,000 units sold. It's a little bit smaller than the Opel, but has a bigger trunk space. Mazda CX-3, manufactured since 2015, almost 180,000 units sold. It's the smallest member in our list, but comes as standards with a lot of options. Honda HRV, originally manufactured since 1999, almost 180,000 units sold, comes only with 1.5i VTEC petrol engines, almost the same dimension as the Mocha X, but a 105 liter bigger trunk. Toyota CHR, manufactured since 2017, more than 230,000 units sold. As Honda, comes only with petrol engines, some in combination with an electric engine. Considerably smaller than the Opel, looks a little bit different and comes with a bigger trunk. Seat Arona, manufactured since 2017, more than 90,000 units sold. Comes with 1.6 TDTI engine, manual gearbox. Even if it's shorter with 10 cm than the Mocha X, the trunk capacity is bigger. As already noticed, the Opel Mocha X doesn't impress on the trunk space. Most of its competitors come with bigger trunk. Well, what would you choose? The audience for the Mocha X? I would say only couples. Due to the lack of space in the trunk, I am tempted to say there will be an issue in case children also come.
good things versus bad things. As positive aspects, I would mention the fact that it comes by standard with a lot of features. You feel comfortable being in the car, there is a plenty of space also for the back passengers. Negative points? Quite big acquisition price if comparing with the competitors. And I would also say that is not so practical. Let's sum up. 7 days, more than 1500 kilometers on the beautiful island in Sardinia, Italy. The car is nice. We enjoyed having it on our holiday. Comfortable to drive and spacious. Easy to park it also in narrow places as it's not so big. Not so big is also the trunk, but let's say this was not necessarily a big issue for us. The diesel engine is economical, not so elastic and it handles the mass of the car properly even if it doesn't impress. You can also use it for some light off-road adventures, but for this the four-wheel drive system would be a better option. Plastic everywhere, you can also get some leather, but for this you need to pay more and then most probably you will consider something else superior. The price is a little bit high even if you get as standard a lot of things in the package. And there is a lot of competition on the market for mocha but as the numbers show, people do prefer it. <laughs>